What's up, y'all? This is Trevor Hall, and you're watching the AU Review. Yeah. Congratulations on your Australian tour. How did you feel? It, how'd you feel it, the, the the core of it? I know you've been right. the show, but you know the core Australian tour. How'd it go? It was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, it was it was wonderful because we just got to see so many beautiful parts of uh, of the country, you know, and you realize how big Australia is and the diversity, um, you know, from place to place, you know, get the feel of different cities. And it was cool to go over to West Australia, too, and just, like, just say that I went over there and, like, jumped in the Indian Ocean. And um, But, you know, the thing about Australia that I really love is just, like, you can just tell people just friggin' love live music, you know, and every crowd was just so into it and, and so uh, respectful and so... Uh, um, just hungry, you know. So that was a that was a good feeling, you know. It makes it worth it when you've flown so far. And <laughs> it's a bit of a trip, isn't it? It's a trip, yeah. I mean, you, it's it's you guys are far down here. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next time you come down, you'll be probably a bit more prepared for that uh, for that long flight. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about the next time you're down here. Back in uh, back at Easter for Blues Fest. Yeah, we'll be here for uh, for Blues Fest and and before that, kind of leading into Blues Fest, we're on Michael Franti's Soul Shine tour, which is with Soja, and uh, we did that in the States this past summer, and it was just super epic, um, and just super blessed to be able to come back so soon and come back with you know friends and stuff and and do it down here. It's a really great festival, and you know it combines yoga and music and wellness and and just fun so um it's gonna be sweet have you been a part of that project elsewhere uh we just you know it was just we just did it in the states this past summer and that was it that was its first year uh in the states um but i know that michael wants to you know keep it going and he's doing it again this summer with different artists and um there's some kind of strange truck coming here right now. What is that? Oh, it's an electrical truck? Hey, mate, just doing an interview here. Don't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. those, uh, the shows Michael did this year, with, that you guys did this year, they all went really well. And yeah, it was, good yeah, it was super crazy. I mean, it was definitely like the biggest shows I've ever played. You know, I mean, we were playing like massive amphitheaters and... And I was definitely the youngin on the tour, you know. So <laughs> it was a it was a real blessing, um, uh, and it was really cool to see how well it went for its first year. So uh, I think Australia will really love it, you know. Fantastic! Well, yeah. Looking forward to that. Yeah. And, uh, and have you heard much about like Fran? He's played it a long, a, a pretty much every year. Much is the same as Ben Harper, as we were saying. Right. Um, has Franny told you anything about Byron Bay Blues Fest? Have you heard much about that, that event? I remember, like, him talking about it, like, just a long, long time back. He, I, he asked me, he was like, have you ever been to Byron? And I was like, no, nah, I've never been to Australia. You know, this was a few years ago. He's like, dude, you got to get on that, <laughs> you know. But it kind of ended there, you know. Um, but it was crazy because we, we, uh, we were just in Byron, like, a few weeks ago, and we got to go down to the Blues Fest office and see like literally like all their, you know, posters from the very, very first year, you know, and uh, you can see that like every year, every other year was Ben Harper and then it was a break, Ben Harper, it was Michael Franti, then a break, then Michael Franti, the break, you know, and it was just so cool to like look at those and be like, man, I can't believe I'm, I'm playing something that has so much history and so much holds so much uh memories you know for for people that have been there so much and bands so super super stoked and just yeah i'm, I'm ready let's do it now <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, you released your latest record this year do you want to tell us a little bit about that yeah we released this record it's called chapter of the forest and um it's an interesting record for me just because i took kind of like a sabbatical before I did it, you know, I was kind of burnt out with traveling and um, just touring so much that for the first time in my career, I was like, you know, I need to just take a break. And I took like a year and a half off and, and was didn't really know, like, you know, oh, am I going to do another album or 
am I going to take a really long break? You know, it's just kind of up in the air and I was just kind of flowing with it. And, um, you know, as, t as time went on, you know, I started writing songs, not, not to record a new album, but just from a place of healing, you know, to like get my spirit back and help heal my heart, help heal my mind and spirit. Um, and before I knew it, you know, I had like 12 songs or 14 songs or something. And I was like, you know, I definitely, I have, you know, I have to release this, you know, if it's helped, helped me heal, you know, maybe it'll help others heal. But it's really like a, a very internal album, very meditative album. It's, it's much more stripped down than anything I've ever done. And, um, that sounds like it was very natural. That. Yeah, it was really, really natural, really organic. I, I recorded most of it on my laptop actually and made a bunch of demos and then brought those into the studio and kind of refined them. Um, but it, it's, it's definitely, it, it holds a lot of importance for me. It's like one of my most cherished projects just, just because of the scenario of how it came about and kind of came out of a time of struggle, but ended up being a really important time of healing for me. So just super stoked that it's out here, you know, in Australia too. I mean, it's just nice to nice to say that yeah i got an album in australia it's out there sydney <laughs> uh, you know, a few years ago when you were talking to franti you know you never would have known that we'd be here years later never bro and you know it's i must you know i grew up being a surfer you know so australia was always kind of on the mind and you know you'd watch these surf movies of these epic beaches you know and um but I, you know, I grew up in South Carolina. I never thought for a minute I'd ever come down to Australia. Have you gotten to surf while you've been here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't. We haven't gotten to surf this trip. But last trip, we were here for New Year's, just kind of to, to chill, because we played Bali, and we were like, you know, we're all we're all the way down there. Let's just go down for New Year's, and we got to surf in Byron that time, and it was super epic. So hopefully, we hopefully we're able to catch a few waves before we head back. I hope so. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> the weather's certainly out for it. Yeah, for sure. If, if this wet weather will do anything, it'll be for some good waves. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Good to have you back, and uh, we'll see you here in April. Thank you very much. Thank you.